actually jump into STL Moms for this morning. We're talking about a new law just signed by President Biden this week. He signed the Safe Sleep for Babies Act into law just two weeks after it was passed by Congress. And this law will ban inclined sleepers for babies and those crib bumper pads. So joining us this morning to talk about it, Brittany Kaiser with the St. Louis Children's Hospital Safety Stop about those products and how dangerous they can be. I know we have a setup here of a safe situation, which mm -hmm. is a pack and play sleeper. We have the baby in a, um, remind me, what's this called a again? Swaddle. The swaddle. Mm -hmm. So we have a good example of here of how your baby should sleep. But those bumpers going around the crib, why are those so dangerous? Yes, so crib bumpers are very dangerous and we've known this for a while. So we're excited that things are being passed to take those off of the market. But the major issues we see with crib bumpers are strangulation, suffocation, and entrapment. So about 3,400 infants die every year unexpectedly in their sleep, and accidental suffocation is one of those contributors to that number. It was always weird to me that we knew that these were a risk, yet they were still sold in stores. And it was always really frustrating to me because then people assume they're safe. Yes. Uh, the inclined sleepers, what can you tell us about those and why those aren't a safe option? Yes, so any kind of inclined sleeper or swing or really anything that has a strap that you're putting your baby in is an unsafe sleep position because we want them to be flat on their back so they can take nice full breaths. When they're not flat like that, there's a risk of a chin to chest, which means their chin can go down into their chest and their airways aren't fully open so they can't take those full breaths and they could suffocate. I know there's a lot of people at home who are thinking, oh my gosh, I used that or I have that. What can they do? Obviously don't resell it, but what do people do right. with these products? Um, throw them away. Okay. Um, you hit the nail on the head. We don't want them to be resold. We don't want them to end up in garage sales or for them to end up in secondhand stores. So we really want people to throw them away, get them out of there so that unknowing parents who don't know the risks and the hazards won't accidentally use it with their child. As we wrap up here, let's talk about safe sleep. Yes. Describe what we're seeing here, why this is a good situation. Yes, so we follow the ABCDs of safe sleep. So alone, always alone in their own sleep space. So never with co-sleeping with a parent or a sibling, um, never like in a inclined sleeper like we talked about or a swing. They need to be alone, um, no bumper pads obviously, yep. pillows, toys, stuffed animals. The only thing that should be in there is a pacifier if you choose and then either a swaddle or a sleep sack. Other than that, should just be your baby. Uh, the B comes in on their back. We always want them on their back yep. so they can take nice full breaths. Um, the C is crib, so it can be a crib, a bassinet, or a pack and play. Those are all safe sleep spaces. And then D right. is do not smoke. We never want them in an area mm -hmm. where they're smoking. This is good information, good reminders. Brittany, thank you so much for all this no details. Problem. We want all the babies to be kept safe, of course. All right, we're gonna